Hi, my name is Bill Laboon. I'm the Technical Education Lead here at Web3 Foundation in Zug, Switzerland. And today I want to discuss uh, the Polkadot re-denomination, which is taking place on August 21st, 2020. So first off, for a very broad idea of what's happening, DOT is being re-denominated. What this means is that 100 new DOT will equal one DOT old. So for every DOT old, that is in your account, after the re-denomination, you will see 100 new dot. At some point, yet to be determined, new dot will be referred to as just dot. But for now, we're going to ensure that we uh, uh, differentiate between uh, new dot and dot old. That is, dot that has been used uh, in, in the past, before the re-denomination. So before we go on, uh, I just want to emphasize this change applies only to Polkadot. So this does not apply to Kusama, it does not apply to Rococo or West End or any other uh, testnet. This is specific to Polkadot. So if you have been using Polkadot.js or some other uh, tools, you may have noticed this old in parentheses after your dot. Uh, you, I have a screenshot at the, the bottom of the screen here. And uh, what this means is after the re-denomination, uh, you, you will notice it will say new dot, and instead of, as in this example, someone having 0 0.01 dot, uh, they will have 100 times that amount, they will have one uh, new dot. So just so you understand what is happening uh, behind the scenes, uh, you need to understand planks. And planks are the base unit of Polkadot. So if you're familiar with Bitcoin, uh, you, it ha there are 100 million Satoshis in, in a Bitcoin. Uh, similarly, there are 1 trillion planks in one dot old. Uh, however, all we're going to do is move this decimal point over two spaces to determine how many new dot every account has. So a new dot instead of being equal to 1 trillion planks, is now equal to 10 billion planks. So in other words, the, you know, the number of planks that a user owns does not change. The, the share of the network that they own from a fundamental level does not change at all. If you, ha if you own 1% of all the dots in existence uh, before the re-denomination, then after the re-denomination you will also own 1% uh, of all the dots in existence. So you can think of it as, you know, just if you, know, you decided that instead of $1 equaling uh, 100 cents, instead it should equal uh, 1,000 cents uh, you know, or, or 10 cents. Uh, but you know, the number of cents you have doesn't change. It's just what we are calling a collection of them. You know, at what level do we call it a dollar? But it wouldn't actually impact uh, how many uh, cents you actually own. So as a user, what do you have to do uh, as part of this re-denomination? And the answer is very simple, nothing. It is simply a front-end change. The only thing you might want to be aware of is the difference between dot .old and new dot. Uh, so if you do see someone refer to dot .old or new dot, you will know the difference, the, the pre-re-denomination and post-re-denomination. Uh, but no matter what you are doing with, with your dot currently, uh, this re-denomination uh, will take place uh, uh, seamlessly. So if you are staking, if you're keeping your dot in cold storage, if you're keeping your dot in hot storage, if you're validating, uh, if you have vested uh, dots, uh, this re-denomination will be entirely transparent to you. So you don't have to worry uh, about that. So I've already mentioned this is happening on uh, Friday. To be more specific, it is happening at exactly block 1,248,328. Uh, this block will occur no earlier than 1640 UTC on Friday, uh, 21st of August, 2020. It probably will be shortly after that. Uh, since there is a probabilistic component to block production in Polkadot, we can't give uh, an, ex an exact time, we can only say it will be sometime uh, after that, but it should be relatively shortly uh, after that. Definitely, uh, I would estimate with, within an hour, uh, probably much less uh, than that. 
So just to give some background on, on how this happened, uh, this was not a this this was not something that was uh, d that just occurred. There was a non-binding vote on Kusama in t on 23 May. Uh, so if you uh, go back in uh, you know any of your fav favorite uh, Kusama block explorers, you can look up refer referendum number 52, uh, and you can see what people thought. And if you look on Polk Assembly, you can see what people were uh, saying um, about it. Uh, however, there were a lot of uh, concerns that you know, the, the Kusama community is not exactly the same as the Polkadot community. So this was a non-binding vote, just to give a, a sense. There seemed to be a lot of interest in a redenomination. And so a binding vote was held on Polkadot. Uh, and this was an approval vote with four options. No change, 10x, you know, multiply by 10, redenominate by 100, redenominate by 1,000x. And uh, approximately 29% of all dots uh, uh, outstanding voted. And remember, this was an approval vote, so you could vote for, for multiple. So for instance, if you wanted some sort of redenomination, but you don't care how, by how much, you could have voted for 10x, 100x, or 1,000x. Uh, excuse me, and uh, you know, all of those. You could have voted for 10, 100, and 1,000. Uh, so by, by, by quite a large margin, uh, 86%, uh, the 100x redenomination uh, won. Uh, so uh, I will include links uh, in, in this. You can, you can uh, re review uh, or you can uh, simply uh, look uh, uh, you know, via polkadot.js. You should be able to see the, um, uh, the, the, the vote and the results of the vote uh, here. So uh, because of that, uh, we... we uh, uh, we, as a network, uh, have decided to, re, you know, decided to re-denominate at 100x, uh, starting at the block uh, that, that I've already mentioned on Friday. So why is this happening? So again, you can look through Polk Assembly uh, if you're interested in some of the discussions, but basically it's better ergonomics for the system. It's a lot easier for someone to say 2 dot than 0 0.02 dot, or half a dot instead of 0 0.005 dot. Uh, and it turns out uh, users can make mistakes when there are a lot of decimal places. You know, if you have to say 0 .000006 dots versus 0 .0006 dots, uh, someone could very easily uh, make a mistake and that might have a very big impact on uh, what they were trying to do. And we have actually seen this on other blockchains. And so we really wanted uh, to avoid that, come up with the, the best uh, denomination that would work for ordinary users of the system. Uh, so that's all that I have to talk about the redenomination. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I am uh, on, on uh, the, the various matrix channels uh, that, that we have uh, for uh, Polkadot support uh, or uh, Twitter at Bill Laboon, or you can email me, Bill at Web3 Foundation. All right, have a very happy denomination day.